So today I'm going to be upgrading my video card. I've had the 6700 um, XT, also a Red Devil, like this one for a couple of years now. Um, in the last couple of weeks, I've been playing around with video editing a little bit more, and I've been um, playing around with the AI models a little more, and it kind of made sense to get something a little bit better. So this is nothing high-end, obviously. For gaming, this is probably a mid-end card. Uh, this is the RX 9070. This is the Power Color Red Devil Edition. Um, these have become a great value. So the uh, Hellhound, which is the same exact 9700, also by a power color, but a tier lower, uh, very similar if not identical performance is now $550 on Amazon, which I'll link in the video description. So these have become a great value. I did not get the uh, 9070 XT because I did not need the extra performance. Um, I also like that this only needed the two uh, eight pin connectors made it a little bit easier to use. And this model is actually almost as good as the XT, but a lot more power efficient. So for my needs, uh, this made the most sense. Um, I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna have some ASMR going on with this. Uh, open up, take a look, and then I'll, uh, I'll pop it into a computer and replace the one that's in there now. All right, so let's open it up. Let me see if I can take out. Well, if there's ever the correct way to open these. I do the kind of the upside down shaking method. So this is the Power Color's highest end model. They have the, I forget the name of the lower level one, then the Hellhound is the one in the middle, and this is the Red Devil, which is a high spec, but they're all honestly very, very similar and they have similar performances. Huge, huge, obviously, size on these things, and these have only grown in size over the last couple of years. Let's see what else we have. This is to hold it up. I have a vertical case over there, so I do not even need one of these. We have the RGB cable, which is great. So this is one of the few cards where not only does it have some RGB, but it has RGB pins, I think right over here. They can actually connect to your motherboard and you could have lighting controlled by the same software that you're controlling the rest of your lighting with. These kind of popped out as I was playing with it. I think that's it. I don't think there's really much else or much else that you'd really need with it. There's no uh, adapters for this because this takes the standard two 8-pin uh, plugs. Alright, let's take this out and I'm going to pop it into a computer. I almost forgot to do the ASMR out of the unboxing. Not really a pro at this stuff, but I know I know the internet loves their ASMR. These kind of pop off. Huh? We have this. I'm definitely not not good at this stuff. Get this on. Get this back. The front to do. It's bottom part, so on the Red Devil series, this is actually the part that lights up, lights up red, but you actually control the color. You can make it light up any color that you want, especially once you use the RGB cable and connect it to your motherboard. A lot, a lot more of this to go, but I don't think you guys want to see me peeling this away piece by piece. Very nice looking card though, overall. Again, I really like that you could have the RGB cable plugged in here. I like that's a double plug, not the newer ones that keep nothing. 
short trip. The XT version of this comes with a triple one. That's why this is a little longer here. The XT version would come with the third piece over there. All right, so just one more step before I replace the current part that's in there now, which is you could see the vertically mounted 6700 XT. Uh, we're going to run some tests on the existing car just so we have something to compare to. Let me just get this a little bit closer. Perfect. Um, so Nova Bench is a, is a good software. It's actually completely free and it's good to um, good to test uh, uh, against both as you upgrade different components, how they perform against one, one another and uh, against other people, the same components to make sure the components you have are actually performing as expected. So this is not gonna take super long, it takes about a minute. In the meantime, in the meantime, I'm gonna get the new video card ready to go. could see while well, it's doing that with the AMD software, we can actually track the utilization, power consumption. So the GPU temperature on the existing car doesn't get too high uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it was not one of the, the overpowered uh, cards that would, that would really overheat. Number two, uh, I have really good cooling in this case. And number three, uh, mounting it both vertically and getting the PCIe adapter to actually Show you. Let's see if I can lower this. I can actually rotate it and uh, and mount it in a different position, so it's not plugged in directly to the motherboard. Actually, helps cooling a ton. So I've actually been very happy with this card, and I haven't done too much gaming on it that really utilize it. But in terms of what I use it for, it's been great. This is a score we got for it. So we have 143 FPS uh, frames per second uh, for Direct 3D11. Uh, for the compute models, it's at 13,000 gigaflops. And you have all the other metrics here. So this is gonna be good to compare against when we put the new card in. Um, and again, GPU temperature already, even right after this test, we're back down to 40 Celsius, which is, which is great for this card. All right, let's uh, take the computer apart, take this card out. I'm gonna compare it in size to the new one, and then we'll see we'll see how the new one performs and compare the performance. I have both cards out now. This is the previous one that I've been using. This is the 6700 XT. Um, still a huge, huge card considering it's now a couple of generations old. Um, I'm gonna measure them for you guys so you could see the, the size. So this one comes in from the bracket just under 13 inches. This is the new one coming in at a little bit over, maybe 13 and a half inches. So you really need a huge case for this. I have a tower case, um, which actually I really like for, for, for a couple of reasons. One of them being is video card hangs vertically, so you don't need, you don't have sagging issues, you don't need to support it. And then uh, you actually have a lot more room to play with and it cools a little better. But you for sure, uh, if you don't have a big tower, you definitely need something, something, something big to be able to fit these, uh, these video cards. And again, this is not even the higher end ones. So I would consider both of these uh, the mid end of the, of the spectrum. Um, but overall, so this is the, again, the 6700, which I believe came out in 2022. It's now three years old, a couple of generations old. This has been a solid card. I really have had zero, zero complaints with it. And this is the Neuro 9700. Again, this is the non-XT, so it's a little bit slower. You have two plugs here. The XT will have a third one right over here. You have the RGB cable plugs in here, which again is, is uh, at least for anyone who cares about RGB, this is huge because you could connect it straight to your motherboard and synchronize the colors between all your accessories. All right, I'm gonna put this down now and I'm gonna get this installed in the case and we'll see how it performs. All right, so I have the new cart in. I did the power supplies are connected here. 
RGB cables in here, actually a little bit loose, but the RGB cables in. Time to power it up and see if it works. It's signed so far, so it, it definitely is bigger. And even in this really, really large case, and this case has been really great to work with, um, you could see it goes almost all the way to the bottom. I have a fan down there, but it's uh, it's almost touching it. So definitely a big card. And I know the XT version and some of the other cards are even bigger these days. A good sign. It's on. Computer turns on. Now we just got a... Test it out. We have this camera up here now. And I run the same tests we did before. That was a good sign. Huh? It's back. Run the same tests we did before. Now open up the AMD software. Performance. It sees the new the new video card 9070 in here, and we're gonna do just the GPU test. While it's running, we could take a look at the actual card. So I'm going to lower this a little bit. Tilt this a little bit. The card itself actually looks really nice. So you have the, the Red Devil has the text here. By default, it's red. The rest of my setup actually changes colors based on CPU load. So now it turned red. It was be because the CPU load was going up to the testing. Um, the card seems very well built. Very quiet, even uh, during the stress test, you could hear some of the other fans, but you can't really hear the video card too much. Yeah, back up, we'll see how the test is doing. It should be almost done. And this, oh, there it goes. GPU score of 2032. So if you guys remember the the one before that I just replaced, I think it was 100 something for FP for frames per second. Gigaflops was a lot less. So all these numbers look a lot better on this on this uh, 9070, even though it's not the XT version. Overall, great card. I really have no no complaints so far. Uh, powered up right away, which is a good sign. And again, I, I really like. Here, I could go back down and look at it really quick. I really like the Red Devil specifically for the aesthetics, but uh, Power Color has two other models, one of which is now 550, which I think is a great deal. Uh, I'll post a link to that in the bottom of the video. Verbal, great card. I say a little bit on the bigger side, but it's supposed to be very power efficient um, and pretty powerful for what it is. So um, that's it. If anyone has any questions, post it in the comments.